how we look it. Four. Baby, what you want? Wait, wait. welcome 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 to my channel if you are new here right off the back I want to thank you so much that you stumbled on my videos and you're here to join the family join the family by subscribing down below and give me thumbs up and don't forget to put that <laughs> that's bubble junior don't forget to put on that notification bell so you will know every time I drop a video ASAP good morning it is a new morning and today actually marks two weeks of my surgery. I am feeling fabulous. Anywho, it is now 7.23. I am on my way to get um, a touch up on my eyebrows. If y'all don't know, over a year ago, I got my eyebrows done. I had absolutely none. And it's one of the best decisions I ever did was getting my eyebrows done. Um, today I began to touch up. It's normally it should be about 30 minutes just to fill in some spots that have faded. Microdermablation is temporary, is not a permanent tattoo, so you do need to go and get touch ups. But a year and a half, this is how it looks now. Um, so I will be getting some filling. So I'm gonna bring y'all with me and hopefully I get some footage. Because when I first did this, I wasn't doing a vlogging style um, channel. So, let's go. <laughs> don't mind, I don't have no makeup on. All I have on is eyeliner, my usual. Anywho, let's go. Pointers in the paddock in my piece. I'll push a pee. Cop no hammer for my pee. We don't want no pee. Got a spot across the spot. Just a piece. Drop the pad and now we plant inside the piece. She not a lesbian for peace, she turned pesbian Push a P, I'm push a P I'm capital P, I write the president, count presidents Push a P, push a P, he's on her knees Pointers in the paddock in my peace, I'm push a P Cop no hammers for my P, we don't want no P Got a spot and cross the spot, check the P's Drop the data, now we plotting, inside the P's Okay guys, this is how I'm looking this is how I'm looking now before I go in and this is how I look after. <laughs> I hope I don't look caca right now because I'm extremely close to this camera. Excuse the lighting. I do not have my stand with me, but the lighting in here is a little awkward. I'm trying to show you my outfit of the day. Let's see. This is how I'm looking. Two weeks after surgery. Keep in mind, I do have some boards in, phone boards, like one in the front, two on the side. So you want to see that bulger. But even with that on, I look good. I look really good. I'm waiting right now to get my eyebrows done she's running behind so i decided to tape but i am looking good this is my outfit of the day i don't know if you can see it this is trina and kind pants i got the shirt from shein hold on let me open this door this door is locking and people can't get in it's a good thing i'm taping <laughs> Um, so, 
feel that, but it's funny when I was getting the surgery done. If anybody thought I was getting a BBL or I got one because the way my butt is shaped. But I'm looking good. This is two weeks. Keep in mind, I do have the, the foams in. I am still swollen, but I'm good. I am good. Anywho, let me sit down. I don't want to tie myself out. Hello, I am all done and it is looking so beautiful. I am sorry I was unable to tape because <laughs> they do numb your eyebrows, but oh my god, it, it kind of still hurts. I'm like, mm -mm, my eyes was watering. <laughs> I was able to lay down flat, which is the first time I laid flat since I had my tummy tuck. So that was interesting. I had to lay sideways then put my knees up because I couldn't take laying flat because it was feeling like it was pulling. But I see there's a Jamba Juice next door. I have a, a gift card for that. But oh my god. I don't want to jump. Here we go. This is after. Of course, right now, it's stinging a little bit, but that's to be known as a tattoo. Let me get rid of lighting. Here we go. But when your eyebrows are done, it looks so good. It looks like I have on like a whole bunch of makeup or something, but I don't. It's so nice. All right, I'm going to go to Jamba Juice and get me a drink. I don't have my stand, so hold on. I don't know. They open, but... We'll see. I got the green apple machine, I think it's called. Let's see how it tastes. Not bad. Not bad at all. I'm still having problems swallowing things that is cold, extra cold. But I will try to get this in because I haven't been eating much. So I need to get as much vegetables as I can in my body. Um, this has kale, pear, green apple, ginger, and I can't remember exactly all. I'm not a pear person, 
I was a little skittish about getting that because of that, but I don't taste it. And spinach. Pretty good, pretty good. Anywho. <gasps> uh, ooh, excuse me. Uh, ooh, excuse me. I'm heading home. Eyebrows are done. Right now it's stinging me a little bit, which is normal. Let's go. See y'all in a bit. Yes, today is two weeks. No, I do not have on my garment just because I want y'all to see me without the garment for the video. So don't don't come for me. This is how we are looking so far. Absolutely no waste. Yes, I still have swelling. Remember, it's only two weeks out. You hear Bubbles Jr. in the back talking. That's my bird if you're new here. This is the front. I am standing up straight. Okay, I am standing up straight. Um, sometimes as the day go on, I am bending forward. I am doing this video for those who is curious what it's like at the two week post-op mark. Please excuse my eyebrows. I went on Tuesday to get my eyebrows retouched. Talking about how I am at the two week mark, I have on a, a sports bra which I would normally keep underneath my garment with another t-shirt, then the um, foams, and then my faha, and then whatever else are we on top of it. I will say I'm not the kind of person who like to sleep with a lot of clothes on, so this is a little bit difficult for me. Um, I get hot a lot because I have on the faha. I have on the foams front and back, front and side. Then I also have on an undershirt between the faha and the foams very hot so though if i put the covers on me the ac come on i'm chilly and then the ac turns off i get hot i'll be waking up sweating this is crazy and i can see how you could get a burn with these faha because the moisture and everything so yes please make sure you wear an undershirt hopefully you can find one that doesn't have seams I did not have no luck finding any undershirts that had no seams so I turned my t-shirts with the spaghetti straps inside out so that crease won't be embedded on my skin my energy is coming back I still need to take it easy as y'all know I had a crazy side effect of burping belching I am happy to announce that that has subsided but not a hundred percent I will say a couple of them a day but it is better um, I have not heard anybody else talk about that. I spoke to the doctor and I even did some research. It is kind of rare. It can happen to people. And they say it could take 6 to 10 days to go away. I am only 2 weeks so I guess this is the backlash of it. Now, I don't know if I'll go back for lipo of hair and hair. Maybe. I don't know. Um, I'm already losing a lot of weight. I was dieting before this. And I'm still losing weight now. Um, in total, um, after surgery, I am now down to an extra 18 pounds. Um, due to the fact that I couldn't really eat as much as I wanted to. Um, and then on top of that, my appetite is not as big as it used to be. I am not feeling any pain here no more. The lipo area was very tender to touch. The only discomfort I have is the tightness in the front, the lower part above my private area um, due to the swelling. But I find that the Faha does help with that a lot. So me standing here without it, I do feel a difference. I can't wait to put it back on. As much as I don't care to wear it and I have to wear it for the next three months, it does make me feel Talking about swelling in the morning, I'm not as swollen because I was sleeping all night and laying down relaxing. As the day go on, I do have more swelling that comes here. Hold on. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I 
I told y'all I'm still booping. Sorry. <laughs> My incision. I am still wearing a gauze in my belly button <sighs> no complications um apparently that the belly button is the last part to skin part to heal um at first i was using the gauze i had to put the ointment around the outside you put the gauze in blah 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 after a while you're supposed to stop doing that every doctor might tell you something different but um the gauze kind of has stuck to a piece of skin and a little bit came off, so it was a little bit pinkish. Wetness there. Um, not pus or anything. It's not infected or anything like that. It was just like, I call it liquid skin. <laughs> That's when your skin is trying to heal. It is drying up now. Main incision that goes from, from my hip to hip. Um, that's doing well. This side, I noticed the, the incision is flat and this side here is a little bit raised it's been like that notice in the front i am scabbing and it's coming off and it was rubbing on the undershirt and it kind of made a little spot bleed so i put a little gauze there to protect that i figured let me wear something there to, to protect it so i won't have to worry about it ripping, ripping because I, I have no open areas i have seen some videos where people um size like where they had the um <laughs> And not funny bubble the drainage that it reopened um appetite still a little bit concerned about that like for instance yesterday i had a half of a half of a green apple with um a scoop of peanut butter and a, a tablespoon of granola that was it and then <laughs> for lunch i made crappy patties with some peas and I only ate half of the, the patty and two bites of the peas. For dinner, um, we had fried rice. And I ate maybe enough that not my palm of my hand was seen as a lot. So I'm, I, my appetite is not good. I'm going to try to work on my appetite. Anywho. Good morning. It is a new day. Today makes two weeks and I believe five days post-op for my tummy tuck. How do I look? <laughs> I feel marvelous. Just peachy. Um, I still have some swelling going on down here. The sides are almost completely down and so is my hips because my hips was swollen as well. I'm a little bit look I look a little bit thicker because I do have the foam boards on. As you can see, it's about a half an inch, a little bit more than a half an inch thick. How much it goes in for my hips, so I am a lot smaller than this. I am so happy so far with the results. I cannot complain at all. Um, my incision is looking good. I am peeling. I am itchy. There is a little piece of a uh, stitch sticking out right here on the side. Uh, we'll see about maybe going to the doctor and asking him about that or calling the doctor and see what does he think about that. I did have a little piece here that kind of opened back up um, about five days, no, about six days ago. I think I was doing too much. I also did attempt to lay flat. A little bit too soon so I think all of that went to play otherwise than that I'm good no complaints my abs kind of still hurt or a little bit of discomfort when I cough or sneeze whatever the burping that I had which was crazy um the burping has stopped I'm up to spirits I think I'm almost a hundred percent myself I won't say that maybe 90 percent myself um my energy my energy right now is almost there. As y'all can tell, I'm almost my bubble, bubbly self, butterflies and rainbow. <laughs> my energy is almost there. I do find when I'm doing a lot, I do get a little tired sooner than I would have been before I had the surgery. So energy is not totally there, but it's almost there. I'm still not taking no kind of pain medication. I think I stopped taking pain medication maybe. Well, the heavy stuff, I stopped taking like two two and a half days after surgery that was more for I was feeling 
the incision like I had a cut. After that, I just took Tylenol Extra Strength. Um, my eyebrows. How are we looking? Yes, they're still dark. Today makes five days of um, me getting them retouched. I think they're about to start peeling, which is crazy because when I first got them done, they was peeling like day, I don't know. No, no, it's about the same. Today, matter of fact, today. But I think it probably will start today because <laughs> I am getting some itchiness. It is very dry, but the lady I go to, she is the best, and everybody ever seen who went to her, who I sent to her, they are all 100 to 1,000% satisfied with the work that she do. If you want to book with her, put her information down below. She's like, there's a little bit of weight because she is that good. When you see somebody that is booked and you can't get right in, you know they're legit, okay? Yeah, I was watching um, Kyra. I don't know if a lot of y'all follow her, but I'm going to leave a link to the video that I am talking about down below. Please check her out. She's been around for a couple of years. Her story kind of remind me of my story. She was in the medical field. She was still trying to struggle and make it as a YouTuber. Um, like she was saying in her video, people talk about YouTubers, how they are, and how lucky they are. But a lot of y'all don't know how we started. For instance, she had me so emotional when I was watching it last night. If you hear a noise, that's my bird, Bubbles Jr., playing with his toy. She actually had tears in my eyes because I was listening to her. She was like, people look at her now, how she's living in this beautiful high-rise apartment. Um, she's traveling all over the place. She's getting all these sponsors. And um, she's wearing all these all these design clothes and fancy shoes and you know d designer bags um she said but when she started she was struggling as a youtuber she was still living with her mother <laughs> her mother's a trip <laughs> hi mom <laughs> she just like keep it real she don't play she don't she don't play that crap i like her she, she's spicy she's real spicy her mother it's like she was sleeping on a bed that was on the floor with no frame um, you know, she was struggling, still trying to make it. Um, she didn't give up. There are times with me that I feel like to give up with YouTube. Um, I've been around now for several years. I'm not where I want to be, but I'm not giving up. So I understand where she's coming from. I just need to keep posting, posting, posting. And one day it will happen for me. And I know it will. That's all of us. So she basically was saying to, to don't be discouraged. Don't give up and just post. Whatever it is, just post. And she's so right. But she had me feeling away. You know what I'm saying? I was... She made me feel better. She made me feel to keep going on. And, you know, people look at us YouTubers and we're all going through something in life. Maybe it's good or bad. We all want certain things in life. But like she was saying, don't give up. And I'm not. And Kyra, I want to say, if you are I'm trying not to get emotional, if if you are watching this video right now, which <laughs> will be fabulous, I want to say thank you for giving me the courage to continue to be a YouTuber. And I know someday I will get to the point where you're at. Uh, congratulations to I think you're almost at a half a million. Wow, that's amazing. I've been watching your channel for some time, so I see your progress. But I just want to say thank you so much for giving me the courage and the kind words that you gave us in your video to tell us to keep going. Because sometimes we do need we do need that. So thank you, sweetie. Oh, I said I wasn't gonna start crying. Oh, that calm down. 